Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. So there are a few things developing in the community right now. The division community is um, getting a lot of excitement currently. And so I wanted to take this video to quickly explain a few big things that are happening that you might not necessarily know. So I watched a video from Epic Slayers actually speaking about this. Um, I didn't know there was going to be some year to reveal thing. Um, I think there was also another video by Jet Forth as well. But Epic Slayers pointed out this particular reveal that you have on Twitter and also pointed out that the city coordinates that you have in the trailer, some people had already zoomed in to pick out some clues. I think it's maybe PHX Gamer or Agent Obi that has done this and actually mapped those coordinates to New York City. So that's the first thing. There's probably <laughs> a sense that we're going to be going back to New York City. This is good news if this is the case. So we'll stay tuned, see what happens tomorrow. That's the first thing. Also, in Epic Slayer's video, the way he reported it was that some, um, you know, other YouTubers have been posting on their Twitter that they've actually been, cap been uh, you know, fortunate to go to San Francisco to check out some, let's say San Francisco, <laughs> to San Fran to go check out some of this content and, you know, maybe just see what it's about. We don't know to what extent. Maybe they'll have some things for us tomorrow uh, after the reveal, or maybe they'll be, you know, we'll see what happens tomorrow. And so this is the second development. The third development was somebody just placed a comment on one of my videos. I probably can get to it. And this comment said, uh, where is it? it says, yeah, Real Talk 309 said, uh, I just got this for five bucks at GameStop brand new. So I got back in my car the moment I saw that and I ran to GameStop and for real, this thing's $5. So I got myself a copy on Xbox One and PS4. I don't have an Xbox One, but I thought I'd get it anyways because a lot of Xbox agents have been talking to me about, you know, trying to come on the platform. So maybe I might find a cheap Xbox somewhere and, you know, jump in. Who knows? And PS4, I have a lot of PS4 family. So hopefully I'll have some time to level that up. I'm even leveling another account up on PC. And so it's crazy for me right now. So be patient with me on that. Let's not get too excited. I just thought because of the price point, you know, something that, you know, you could just maybe get. Uh, and whatever. But why are they making it so cheap? I kept getting this question in GameStop. The game is literally a year old. The associate was asking me, people around were looking like, what is buying a whole $60 game for $5? What's going on? Guys, DLC is about to come out. I think this year two announcement is about to be a DLC. And for them to be able to reduce the entry level for a lot of players, the price point has been reduced. And so this is going to bring in more agents. Some people have said, oh, we left the Division 2. We're gone. We're out. But some people are also saying they're not going to pay for DLC. So what better way from a business perspective to do this? Now, everybody will probably have their qualms about all of this stuff. But here is business for you, folks. They want to get people to come play their game. For those of us that are hardcore agents that are still playing this game, we want more people to come back and play the game. Why? Matchmaking is going to be easy. Finding people for raid groups are going to be easy. Finding people for missions. Those things are going to be better if you have more people come back or return to the game. If somebody already sold you know, their copy of The Division 2, they go back and pick it up for 5 bucks. Their progress is all based on a server on their Ubisoft account. They can pick up and continue from where they left. So there are so many things right now that point to this possibility. And again, why New York? It makes a whole lot of sense. I've said this before. Many people might say, oh, we need to go to another city. And I'm, I agree, but you don't just go to another city without leaving the nostalgia, without returning to the nostalgia. Some people are saying, oh, they just rushed this New York content. Some people have pushed back and said that will be really impossible for them to rush this kind of content. It's probably been something that's been planned for a long time. So I guess we'll see how that you know plays out. And so to me, I think this is actually cool. For those of you who've been on this channel, I have made probably like 60 videos on New York, not 60, but it feels like maybe 30 videos on New York talking about how I feel like this was the wise move for this studio to make. If they had gone to a whole different city, that may not have been able to pull a lot of people, but the prospects of getting everything that the Division 1 had to offer or getting a major slice of the Division 1 is definitely there, you know, to be tapped. Some others have said, you know, it just feels lazy and blah, blah, blah. And I say, you know what? Yeah, you can call it what you want. But for those of us who put in time in the Division 1, who moved console to PC, PC to console to play with their friends and who got the game on multiple platforms, 
that kind of investment is 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 what a hardcore community does and they have to appeal to their hardcore community a lot of people who came to the division 2 for the first time if they're going to be making their way to new york it's it's definitely something that they're going to be experiencing kind of for the first time but for the hardcore players it's bigger than that. And so that's exactly, that's how you make the game big. You dig in. Now, many have said things about file size. And I'm like, where's my copy of Red Dead Redemption 2? That thing took like 90 gigs to install. And so file size, this is 2020. It's not a problem anymore. If you have a game that what the file size is, you know, 90 gigs, no one is going to bat an eye. And there are so many other ways that it can be implemented. I actually mentioned this. I had the same conversation on one of my old videos. So... These are some of the developments happening. Um, episode three is on the horizon. Hopefully, I hope you guys are here to actually, you know, go through this process with us and we'll talk about this. Leave in the comment section how you feel about all of this. And for those who've been saying New York makes no sense, I don't see how they're going to do New York. You need to have a little bit of faith. We've played this game so much. It's weird how we can somehow see the minds of the developers, even when nobody knows what they're doing. I've never gone to an ETF before or anything. But I just kind of see these patterns going on and I'm like, yeah, it makes sense to do that. And, you know, I'm also wrong many times. You know, I don't know everything, but we'll see what tomorrow holds. I'm not saying that we're going to New York. So until then, I'll, I'm not making any confirmations of any kind, but we'll see what we see when we get there. All right. I'm out. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.